Hi, I'm Claire from the Kitchy Kitchen, and this is 10 Second Living, where I show you how to do practically anything in 10 seconds or less. And today I'm gonna to show you how to cook my perfect steak. And I say my perfect steak because this is my favorite version of steak. It is a bone and ribeye, so really juicy, lots of flavor, really good stuff. It's pretty massive, but I'm gonna show you how to cook this steak, and also if you're cooking a steak that's a little bit smaller, if you're cooking something without the bone in. Basically, there's a few tips and tricks to getting a perfectly medium rare steak every single time. So I've had my steak sitting out for about 30 minutes, and this is to take the chill off, and also to make sure that I can season it well ahead of time. By seasoning it about 30 minutes ahead of time, it means that the juices in the steak aren't going to pool in the pan, so that way I don't get like a steamed steak, I get a really nice crispy golden brown sear on the outside. And then also I've patted it dry, so when it hits the pan, it really does get nice and crisp on the outside. And I also have a little bit of maitre d' butter, or hotel butter, that's gonna go on top afterwards. That just has parsley, garlic, salt, and pepper in it. It's so delicious. A little bit of oil, and then my heavy duty, super awesome cast iron pan. I love this thing. It is super necessary to cooking a fabulous steak. So, let's get started. Oil the steak, add to a hot cast iron pan, and sear for three minutes pressing down. Flip, pop into the oven set to broil, cooking for five minutes. Rest, add butter, and enjoy. My steak is done, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is like a ridiculous Fred Flintstone situation and I am not mad about it. So I am digging in. My steak has rested for five minutes. It means it's ready. Mmm, that is so delicious. I love how simple this is, and it's so easy to do as well. It took under 10 minutes, and I have this wonderful, delicious meal. And the thing about steak is that it's really intimidating because it's expensive and it's very easy to mess up. So if you don't have a steak this large or you don't wanna cook it to medium rare, here are some tips for how you can cook that steak. For a steak that's about one inch thick, you wanna sear it for two minutes and then cook it in the oven for four. I cooked this for three minutes on the pan and in the oven for five. If you want this to be medium well, you just cook it for about two minutes longer in the oven. And that's it. For the full recipe, check out the description under this video and my blog, thekitchykitchen.com. Mm -hmm.